Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with some friend mail from Lynn. I have no idea what's in this box. I, I remember she told me she, it was coming. I was super excited. She showed me like a, a sneak peek and I was like, oh, that looks nice. Um, but this box is seven pounds. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I opened the door. I was like to my mailbox. I was like, oh, because they had Goldie in my hand and it's also 105 degrees outside. And I'm like, I can't put her down on the ground to carry her back in. But um, so we, we finagled with between this and another box and me carrying Goldie back. Um, looks like I opened it. I actually, I don't know if I opened it upside down, but um, there's a lot, lot, lot going on in here. So let's see what this first one is. Um, just so you know, you guys, I reuse a lot of packing materials with my sales. So I'm a very big recycler. We've got a cool little box. Oh my goodness. Look at all these stones. <gasps> okay. I'm going to save these to the end because they're absolutely gorgeous. And I want, I, I love delayed gratification. <laughs> so I want to see those in a minute. And it, I kind of feel like I put, I don't know if I, um, open this upside down or not it's so funny Lynn that you sent me this I bought a ton of these when I saw them at the dollar store I have like 10 or 11 of them I'm gonna scooch out a little bit it's a pineapple plate <laughs> it's a pineapple plate in iridescent white like could if I could be a plate it'd be this plate um, which is white with an AB finish so it is so cool Lynn thank you so much for sending me one because I, it just it's 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 like you guys know me sorry I have a whole bunch of mess over here but it's like you guys know me somehow <laughs> I love pineapples I love AB oh thank you so much Lynn that's so sweet of you um what's this okay we have a little oh that's awesome like a little seed bead um little box filled with seed beads so we have oh this one this one's gorgeous it's neon i'm not gonna spill them out because you know me i'll spill them everywhere neon lined neon green lined glass um we have some bright purple and you guys know i've been using these lately in my designs some blue iridescent um a hematite color Um, bright red ooh orange lined but it's like a yellow with an a B on it or a luster those are cool a nice amber with white on the inside these are all six O's and a pale baby blue these are awesome I would say I love them all but these three the lined ones are my absolute favorite but these two are my favorite favorite <laughs> I have too many degrees of favorite <laughs> um, Lynn loves uh, loves um, acrylic beads like I do so she has a lot um, so she she wanted to share some with me but oh my gosh this is so cute bead soup just to add string gosh you guys know I love bead soup I have many different types going this one looks like it's all um, stones and glass that's awesome that is awesome so cool there's a lot going on in there too I can't wait to go through some of it I don't I hesitate to spill it all out and go through it because I mean that would take that would that would be the rest of my day I'd get sidetracked and say well look at this bead look at this bead so I'm seeing a lot of blue in here some shell some glass some some stone this is amazing thank you Lynn thank you very pretty oh I even see some bone in there oh a little carved um, butterfly very nice thank you um let's see oh there's another box let's see what's in this box Okay, so I can't tell. These are really cool. These are really neat. They look like little robin's eggs almost. Not the right shape, but the, definitely the right feel. Um, those are really, really neat. I want to use those in a, a bracelet. Oh, some really nice heishis. I think, yeah, these are acrylic, but they look like turquoise. Some nice acrylic beads. 
um, some black and silver beads, some coral uh, colored beads, and then we have oops, some acrylic beads in the back, gray and gold, some more that are kind of like based on the look of coral, but they're also coral color and acrylic. Um, same beads, but in a blue marble effect. Those are neat. Those These would be really nice spacers. And you know, several people ask me, well, how do you use acrylic beads? Mm, just like any other be bead there is. Um, I, I am not going to discriminate. Yeah, there are some acrylic beads that I just would probably not use because of quality. But if they're quality beads, why, why would I differentiate? I think that if they look w w nice with your design, use them. Um, these look like they have rhinestones, but they're actually just painted with silver. And then we have, oh, look, she stamped some washers with, with little bears. I th think I have a bear stamp similar, but I can't remember. That's cool. Thank you so much, Lynn. You know, I love my little Zuni bears. Oh, a gold one and a little dog tag. That's cool. And I could patina it to get it to, to show up a little bit better. And then I can't tell, are these, I think these are you know what? I can't tell if these are metal or acrylic, but they're still really nice spacers. Very cool mix. I love that. Very neat. Um, and then I just have a huge box of stuff. I'm going to go through it at the pace it deserves. I'm going to make sure we, we see everything. I'm going to put a bead mat down just in case because it looks like some of these beads might spill all over the place. So these are acrylic and I'm thinking they're vintage. They're gorgeous. They remind me of polymer clay beads, honestly. A lot of the polymer clay stuff I've seen would work with the beads that I've gotten from Carmine are, are purple and black. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can incorporate the, these with those. Very nice. I'm just grabbing stuff willy nilly here. Um, let's see what's in this bag. Wow, these are cool. It's vintage. They look vintage. They're fantastic. These would look really great with any type of beads. These would look really nice with some lamp work or some gemstones and muted colors. Even some shell. Oh, I'm getting ideas. I, I'm trying to figure out what I'd want to do with these, but we have a few different colors and they're so pretty. Oops. Oh, man down. Very pretty. I like those. So we have glass beads. These are really cool. They look almost like agate too. So this I could um, extend some um, agate beads with these. Maybe some carnelian would look good with this too. So now my new thing is when I'm editing, I take screenshots and write down my ideas in my notes app and it's amazing. <laughs> and I've designed so much jewelry that way. Hopefully I'll be able to get them on camera with you. Oh, this is bone. I don't have any of this color. Oh, cool, cool. I'm so excited. Um, so we have some carved, really cool little um, sigils carved in there. And this is like a four strand whole I mean you could just use two or one and then we've got a heart we know we love hearts and I love like the tie-dye feel to these um, with the lighter and darker blue and then we've got oh these would be great for earrings maybe we'll set these up aside yeah and make a pair of earrings with these kind of like the earring kits that I had so I'll put those two to the side because those are just really 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 cool colors um, and then maybe, you know, if, if they're really big, you can also just make them into a pendant too. And then um, there are just some other really nice shapes. We have that big, we have a big um, teardrop, some carved beads. I love them, Lynn, thank you. Let's see, oh, this is neat. There's more spacer bars for a hole. Um, I'm gonna put and find two of the same size rounds. Here we go. I'm gonna put them off to the side. I don't know that we're gonna use two of the same color beads in the earrings, but there's a lot of beads 
there are a lot of beads in this box so I might find something else that works too but I know it's day 30 of my challenge so I want to make one uh, a pair of earrings and then we'll move on to another challenge I'm trying to decide what what we're gonna do probably by the time this airs the new challenge will be up um, so what, what are these wood okay that's interesting these are gorgeous I'll probably um, sort these so each one each color will have their own ba uh, bag but these are really cool it's a, they're really neat colors like that's a really nice blue we have a periwinkle or a light purple and then a peach or a peach a pink pink purple very cool those are neat those are really nice I think they remind me of some some 80s beads or 80s colors at least um what's this Ooh, some silver beads silver spacers lots of them oh my goodness they're not metal <laughs> i didn't see how what they were until i got them close to the camera i love them i love them even more now that i know that they're not metal these are very very neat they're like little they're like little disco balls but just different shape oh my gosh and they're acrylic oh my gosh these are so cool these are so neat. I've never seen an acrylic bead like that. Those are very, very cool. I love them, Lynn. Thank you so much. Those are really cool. That was kind of a surprise for me. Um, we have some copper. I think these are copper coated acrylic. Yeah, these are really nice copper coated acrylic they, they're great to add some shine to your piece but not the weight very nice um we have some i think these are wood wood rondelles yep she marked them very nice. Cool color. Um, some more copper. Uh, these are more like spacer size, uh, acrylic coated. Very neat. Those are awesome. I love the, the triangle shape. Um, some more probably vintage acrylic Ooh, these are cool they look like little planets or little marbles <gasps> those are neat those are really nice love to use these in a necklace look at that guy it's like almost like a bowling ball too <laughs> I love them that's such a cool like cranberry color some more wood These are dyed and I get they're kind of um, like muted and faded a little bit and I really like that we have oh what are these oh it says glass these are kind of cool I want to I would even want to use these like in something fruit themed like watermelon or strawberry or something those are awesome those are really pretty and I think these are glass too it's a, such a vibrant color I don't know if you guys can tell but this is like a hot hot pink hot pink this reminds me of like neon from like neon actual neon lights that's really neat those are really cool gonna have to figure something out that'll really showcase that hot pink oh we have more of the the wood but in different size some of it oh no it is different sizes they're very big 
Very neat. Love those saucers, little flying UFOs. <laughs> um, some silver six millimeter spacers. Again, um, you know, I can't tell if these are metal or acrylic coated metal. I think they're, mm, I don't know. They're very lightweight, but they're very pretty, very bright. Um, some more acrylic beads. Nice luster on those. Great colors. Some striped beads. These would be really great in some like lemon jewelry, um, sunshine jewelry. Um, I had some of these, but never in this color. So, and it's a really good color. I love using these beads, especially like when I do, um, like holiday bracelets. I don't know a holiday that would really, oh, Easter would be good for yellow, but yeah, those are really good when I do like bracelet blitzes by my, by myself. <gasps> Ooh, more of these beads in, but in a turquoise or a pale teal. Oh, that's awesome. They look like mercury glasses. I think that's why I really like them a lot. Those are going to be really great spacers to liven up something to make them really sparkle. Those will go really well with some Jesse James beads for sure. Um, and then we have some more acrylic. We've got some stars and some flowers. I think those flowers, oh, oh, they're not stars. Okay. And these are marguerites or rondelles. So we could use those as spacers. And then these are kind of cool. I can see some earrings made with these. Maybe I'll put some of these aside for some earrings. And maybe we'll use these as spacers and something. And then we have a heart. We have some stars. This would be cool in some celestial jewelry, like as a dangle on a chandelier or something. Very sparkly. I like those. And... We've got some like little acrylic black flowers. These are cool. They're rounds with like a flower etched into them with silver. I don't know if you can see that. I would definitely use those in bracelets, necklaces. I have in the past too. So those are really cool. Like those. Really good in earrings as well. Ooh, what are these? Um, I think it just says 50 on it. I think they're acrylic. But they almost look like, remind me of bronzite, um, but they're definitely acrylic. These are gorgeous. The, the, they would definitely fit in a, um, a piece with tiger eye, bronzite, anything brown, anything earthy that you want to fit them with. Maybe some jaspers would work with this too. These are really nice. Very gorgeous. And they look like, you know, that swirling in them looks like a storm or something. Or coffee. <laughs> Those are really nice. Ooh, we've got some sparkles. These would be good again for more like um, strawberry or peach or watermelon jewelry. I love these things. I love them. They're so happy. Gosh, I just love these beads. I, I mean, you could send me them in any color. These are brown. These would be really great. And you guys, you know you're going to be seeing these a lot in my projects. First of all, she sent so many of them. Second of all, I really, 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 really love this shape. I love that they look like the mercury glass so much. I love that. And, oh, some really big acrylic beads. These would definitely be some focals on a bracelet or a necklace. Got that big guy. Got a little bit of a crackle going on. This guy's got even more crackle going on. That's a really cool bead. It's very re retro, very 70s color, shape, feel, and a big, you know, citrine looking one. That's really neat. I had these for a long time in clear. I don't think I have any more. Oh, some nice cylinders.
They almost have like a coating on them. Very nice. They look like uh, uh, faux agate. I like those. There's still so much left. I need to take a break. <laughs> um, more flowers, but not black. Uh, they're actually the reverse of the other flowers. The other ones were black with silver detail, and these are silver with black detail. They're acrylic, and you would, uh, you know, use them as spacer beads. That's what I would do with them. That's what I will eventually do with them. <laughs> oh, and then these are glass. Um, if you haven't seen these before, they're on some uh, websites called Spray or Season Beads. They're like splatter color, uh, splatter covered glass beads. That's a fun mix. That's a really fun mix. Oh, these are cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they, I mean, I know they're acrylic, but they're, they're like painted. Those are neat. Those are really cool. You can make like a sky necklace, like clouds and rain and sunshine. That'd be really neat. Like a theme necklace using those. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to find a sun pendant, some gray beads. I'm writing this down <laughs> sun pendant some some gray beads some yellow beads and maybe make something like weather related those are pretty cool and possibly incorporate these too those are awesome those look like check glass but they're acrylic or resin or plastic whatever you want to call it got some big guys Biggins. I think I have these in um, some kind of brown. I can't remember. But we've got big black beads. I do have a lot of black and white projects stored up in my brain. I just have to get them out on paper and these would be fantastic for one. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll make a necklace with these. I'm writing it down. Those are really neat. Okay, uh, next we have some really fun pastel acrylic beads. Um, these are shapes I don't really have. That's pretty cool. I really love this one. It almost looks like that Alexandrite color. And then we have some rounds. Very pretty. Those would be great for Easter. And they're vintage. Yummy. And then these are also vintage. They're also acrylic. Oh, these are cool. I've, I've had these in my cart a couple times, different places, but they have like glitter or confetti inside they're gorgeous oh my gosh I love those they're they're like a party in a bead you know that's that's right up my alley um this is bone I think I might have something very similar to this um some bone heishis very nice. Those are great for like if you're doing a very nice big focal piece in the front, just stacking on the back so you can um, bring the attention to the front of your necklace. And then ooh, we have some bead frames, which is funny because I have a video coming that is all bead frames, um, like a bead frame blitz almost. So these, but these are gold plated. The ones I have are not gold plated and they're, they're not this shape or they're this shape, but not this size. So depending on if this video airs before that video, you just were spoiled, but maybe I'll put one of these in there. Um, these are nice. These are really nice. Thank you. I'm really into using the bead frames. I, I mean, I, I think that video has seven, five to eight different pairs just using bead frames. And then we have silver and these are silver plated. Those are awesome. Thank you so much. And then we have gold and silver plated S clasps. Those are really nice. When you have a very min minimalist or simple necklace, these are really fantastic to make sure you don't draw away from your design. 
with a with an ornate clasp. Um, we have some more acrylic plated, or I'm sorry, metal plated acrylic beads. Like I said, again, these are great for, for projects where you're maybe using a lot of stone and you just want it to be, to, to ease up on some of the weight. Um, oh, it's like a little acrylic mix. Oh, more of those um, with the silver, almost like tinsel inside. I really, really, really love these. These are so cool. And then these almost look like um, the African chevron beads, but they're plastic. And then we have uh, the confetti or, or glitter bead and a square. Great. Those are fantastic. More acrylic one looks like turquoise and the other ones um, just like an aqua cloudy mix these are nice great filler beads for necklaces and bracelets um, this is cool these are acrylic but they're made to look like almost like rocks uh, these look like mukite but they're they're acrylic so I could use those in conjunction with Mukite if I wanted to. Um, then we just have some round beads. These are really, really, really dark purple. And it's a lighter purple. And then we have a, and more of the blue and the green rounds in the bag. I would probably use one of these as a focal with Mukite because it's big and it looks like Mukite. Um, this is, it says vintage. Wait till you see these. Let's see. Very nice. Look, they have some, um, some flex in them. They look like rocks, but they're, or stone, they, but they're uh, acrylic and they have some flash in them. Those are really nice. Those are really nice. I can use those with coral or turquoise or anything, but definitely coral and turquoise. Ooh, some more of this hot pink glass that we showed over here. Just a different shape. It's just such a cool hot pink. <laughs> I don't have any hot pink like that. And sometimes when they're th that hot pink, it's not the best quality. And th uh, that's what I've seen. Them. Some of mine have faded, but these are way better quality than the ones I have. So I'm really excited about those. We have some spacers. And I think, yeah, these are colored because I can see, I can see a seam, but they're, they're still pretty lightweight. They look like metal. They'd be great as a spacer. Oh, and I spilled more of them than I got in the bag. Um, let's see, what are these? Acrylic, but oh my gosh, those are really neat. Those look like a, like a dark sea at night or something. Those are really cool. I love those. Lynn's got some fantastic beads, y'all. I really, really, really love everything I've gotten so far. And there's still so much in this box. Oh, my gosh. And I didn't even get to go through the bead soup, which, speaking of bead soup, here's another bead soup. Um, it's just a baggie full of beads. Those are great. Ooh, look at this guy like a moon glow. I used to be obsessed with moon glow beads. I love those. That's a good looking guy right there. I think I would use that as a focal on a bracelet. Nice. And there's some really nice beads in here. Very pretty. Some nice. It's a cool color palette too. That peach, the pale pink, the muted blue and some um, maroon. Very nice. Oh, here's another one. Oh, wow. Look at those guys. Those are pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. It looks like Malachite. Very neat. That is pretty cool bead right there. 
I have a bracelet that I'm planning that I could use that guy on. Oh, there's another one in there too. Some wood in here as well and some lentils. Very neat, thank you. I'll have fun sorting these because I can't just like leave them. <laughs> I have too many bead soups. I want to sort them and put them in their, their right colors with their beads. It's so like it just on my desk, not that Lynn sent these, but just next to me within arm range is this gemstone bead soup and just this acrylic and glass bead soup. So <clears throat> I also have, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jars over on the right hand side of my desk from crystal to metal to paper, uh, not paper, but um, charms, um, sea glass. There, I have all different kinds of bead soups. So I want to, uh, since these are bigger beads, I'm probably going to sort those into their color groups. These are awesome. They're too whole. So I'm thinking they, if, if they were ever part of something before, they were part of a bracelet. But I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't use them on a bracelet. I would use them on a necklace. These are awesome. I recently did a video with two whole beads, but they were smaller than this, so maybe I could come up with something else. These are really, really cool. I have so many ideas for black and white jewelry. I just <sighs> wish my brain was a little bit more organized. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> I have a new system, but it's taking a long time to get the backlog of videos from my brain to your screens. <laughs> we have more of these, so that's great. Um, they're different size. They're a smaller size this time lovely I just love those those colors are great we've got some acrylic beads that look like bone like they're faux bone but they're really neat I'll, uh, even though they're acrylic I'll probably put them in with my bone or my African beads just so I know when I you know when I go to use something in that drawer I can see them in case I want to use them so I don't I need ever since I switched I have most of my beads in color order, but they're just glass, plastic, and, and like pearls and crystals on the right, the left hand side of my room, but the right side has all my specialty beads, and I always go to my specialty beads first because I love them. Not that I don't love my other beads, but I tend not to go in them as much, so um, that's why I would put those with my other beads that I would probably use them with. These are cool. Very neat. They're plastic too. Very cool. Some acrylic rondelles. Very nice color, like a dusty teal. These are stone. Very lovely. Love, love, love those. Love, love, love those. Those are really good color. I don't think I have anything that color in my stone. These were actually in that mix we looked at earlier in the box, but in different colors. So here we have a whole thing of black. Great for bracelets. Great for spacers. Um, if you just want to get some black into something. Great idea. Just get like a nice cool shape. Um, and then kind of just mix it in with whatever beads you're going to be using. Um, this is really neat. Something copper, but it's really pretty. It's very clear acrylic. Very nice. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous bead. Definitely a focal. And my goodness, there's still so much left in here. Here's another mix, like in oranges and rust colors. Ooh, and we have more of these in here. Those are fantastic. I love those beads. Love them. Thank you, Lynn. Some more metal plated acrylic. Little drops. They're so cute. These would actually have really worked for some earrings that I was frustrated with the other day. <laughs> those are really nice. Gosh, my board is full. Um, some more metal plated acrylic. Really pretty. 
Those look a little older just because of the finish on them. They look great though. Um, some more metal bladed acrylic in a different color. Hold on one second. Very nice, very bright. Um, we have like an AB heart pony bead mix. I had these when I was a little kid. <laughs> very cute. And some more acrylic like turquoise beads. Very nice. Again, really good, like, um, not spacers, but like filler beads. If you're running low on, on some beads that you want to use in a project, just color match them. They don't have to be the exact same beads. And uh, fill them in. Three of these, I'm thinking they're vintage. They're very cool looking. Those are some cool beads right there. And these are neat. I don't let's see. I have something similar, but they're not pearls on the inside. These are like mesh encased pearls. Those are really, really cool. I have something similar, similar in gold, but they're not pearls on the inside. Oh, I think that other one was just an identifier because this one says acrylic 452 lime and purple. Look at this bad boy. Whoa, that is one big bead. That is cool. Yeah, I could see using this with polymer clay, with lamp work. Um, it's really neat and it's definitely a focal. That's very cool. See, this is why when people say, oh, I don't use acrylic, why not? This cool, this bead is cool. <laughs> this bead is really awesome. Um, some uh, more metal plated acrylic, couple different styles in this baggie. A diamond and a rondelle. Nope. Some little acrylic pearls. So sweet. Um, some tortoiseshell uh, rings. These are cool. A little 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 small for my basketball hands but I could use them for um, as rings in a piece or as spacer beads very pretty those are really pretty I love tortoiseshell I don't have enough of tortoiseshell anything I don't think can you can you have enough tortoiseshell <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> so I love them Um, some little lemony acrylic beads, little babies. These are like the beads you're like, oh, I need that color and where, I know I don't have, oh, here they are. <laughs> that's one of those beads that's just like gonna be there clutch when, when you're um, really, really searching. And then we have some I think these are vintage. It's funny because I used to really, really love melon beads. I still do, but these I definitely would have used in my, my designs when I was selling full time. Those are gorgeous. Um, these are vintage and they're really great green. Oh, okay. I don't know the name of this shape. Um, is it just Briolette? Because it's like, this is a definitely a vintage shape that I've seen before. I, I just love it. I love that. So cute. Love that green. It would be like great on like a piece jungle theme piece. Um, some pearl nuggets. These are great. I love those. I would for sure have used those back in the day. And I just, they're so pretty. They're so pretty and they're so unique. A 
We have some black pony beads. Very nice the spacers. Some white rounds, a couple different sizes. Some clear acrylic. I'm not going to open these because they're not, it's like sealed clothes. Some clear acrylic beads. Some more of those hot pink beads, glass. Oh, little baby drops. Are they briolette style? Yeah. Actually, I don't know if these are, I can't tell if they're glass or not, but they're really, really, really hot pink. They're, I mean, they're the same hot pink as the other ones, so I'm assuming they're glass, but you never know. Um, some, these are sealed too. Um, these are like really nice oblong clear acrylic beads. Those look like glass to me, but they're, they are acrylic. They just look like glass. Some purple, I think these are glass. Oh, little little half rounds, little weird oblongs. Those are really cool. They look like little purple bobas. Some more turquoise style acrylic rounds. We're almost at the end. <laughs> There's so much. I've already been filming for 20 minutes on the second portion of this video. <laughs> um, these are glass. They're really pretty. They almost seem like mercury glass too. They're an olive green. I don't know if you can tell. Very pale olive green brown color. another similar finish different shape different slightly different color these are more green more silver green those are really cool um, oh some fire polished green and AB these are really nice those are gorgeous eight millimeter These are the same beads as before, but smaller. I think, yeah, these are glass, like a dusty blue. They're not quite bugle beads, but they're kind of the same shape as bugle beads, just larger. Some more fire polish beads. I'm loving the color palette um, on some of these beads. Like they're really like stormy sea at night. Like a blue, pale blue. Do these have a luster? I can't tell. I don't think so. Oops. Okay. Um, five more packs. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think these are glass. Yeah, these are glass. Little baby rondelles. Uh, really cool blue. Some more um, acrylic, I'm sorry, metal plated acrylic spacers. Bright silver. And then one more um, metal plated spacer. I would probably put these with my African brass and stuff because that's what it looks like to me, even though it's acrylic. I just think they look really nice. So 
so I would remember to use them. <laughs> so I have a whole drawer of, I need to, you guys know I still need to sort through all my beads. They've just, when I moved into this house, I kind of put them in their color drawer and then walked away because <laughs> I had so much other stuff to do. Um, these are really neat. These are the second to last bag. I don't know what they are. Yeah. I think they're acrylic. Almost positive they're acrylic, but they could be glass. And yeah, they're acrylic and they're really, really cool. It's like a mottled purple and yellowy color. And then last but not least, we have some shell. So there are some capuchons in here. So that means a flat back, no hole. Um, that's awesome. Those are really cool. I can glue those to things. I can use Palmer clay with them. This is acrylic, but it almost looks like a trilobite kind of with the swirling in there. And then we have um, some mosaic shell cabochons, which are awesome. Those are so cool. I want to make a ring or something. Out of that. I wear, I don't wear rings, but I lo love rings. I have a bunch of them, but I don't wear them. So I know they would waste it if I made it into a ring. Um, yeah, I can't even tell you what my favorite thing was because there was just, there was so much. And we haven't gone through the gemstone box. So let me clean this up and we'll go through that. Okay, so we have this box that she sent. Wonderful, packed full of happiness right here. And what's this first one? Oh, they're marked. So purple and brown jersey. And then there's the measurement. So it's dyed agate. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. It looks like a geode. Let's see if I can get it to be a little brighter. There we go. Yeah, that's really pretty. Red, oh, red Chihoa. I don't know what that says. Jasper. Very pretty and it's, um, it's not quite matte. It's just got like a satin finish. It's not glossy. Very nice. Green and coffee agate. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look like a painting? Looks like a Monet to me. <laughs> it's gorgeous. That is so beautiful. I love it. And I love that there's a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue running through all that green. That's really pretty. I love that. Purple and yellow dragon vein agate. Neat, neat. Look at all the purple in there. It's lovely. It's very like muted, but kind of vibrant at the same time. Like the purple is vibrant, but the other colors are pretty muted. That's really cool. I'm trying to get a better, so there's not a lot of glare, but that's, I don't think that's gonna happen. There we go. Very neat. That was awesome. I only have a few, I only have a few dragon vein agate pieces. More dyed agate. That's really pretty. It's very soft. It's gorgeous. So it looks it looks like water. Maybe maybe um, an ocean theme with that one. Brown and coffee agate. Wow, that looks like dragon blood almost. And I have some dragon blood. Uh, is it Jasper? Um, but these are pretty cool. That's really gorgeous. Looks like a storm on like the planet Jupiter. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Brown cat eye. Ooh, that's really nice. I love it. Very subtle, but it's really pretty. I love that, it's gorgeous. 
<laughs> we see a heart. Green and brown. Uh, Ayoka? Ayoka agate? Wow, look at that. Looks like little starbursts or fireworks in there. Look at that. Looks like a, like almost like a topography map um, from up above. It's really cool. Wow, that is neat. That is neat. I haven't seen anything like that before. Purple and yellow stripes, onyx agate. Goodness. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. For some reason, right away, it looked felt like musical to me, but I think it's because of these stripes. It looks like music paper. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. What was this one called? Brown or purple and... Purple and yellow stripes onyx, onyx agate. That is really cool. Yeah, I can see that. It would fit well together with some banded onyx. Brown fire cherry quartz. So cherry quartz is man-made, but I do have some that look quite like that. Uh, this is cool. Very neat. That is awesome. And then there's one left. Gray and yellow crazy lace agate. Oh. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. This would work really well with some of those bumblebee jasper um, pendants I just got too. This is really pretty. I think from this box, my two favorites are this one and the heart. They're all so gorgeous. Lynn, you, you spoil me. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you for sharing your wonderful collection with me. Um, we'll make some earrings. I, I did pull aside these. So maybe I'll, I'll grab something that w works with them from my stash and we'll make a pair of earrings. Okay, so we're gonna make two really quick pairs of earrings. One, the first one's gonna be using uh, this disc, bone disc, um, and I pulled out a Jesse James bead spacer and um, this turtle bead that I found in the um, Shark Week mix. And I'm gonna grab one of these uh, lime green lined um, seed beads. Mm, yeah, that one's a good size. And then I have some, I think, 20 gauge wire. So I'm just going to pull off a piece. And you guys know I use way too much wire, but I get worried. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put on my spacer. I'm going to put on my bone piece. And then I am going to have a few a few inches coming out the back, but most of the the wire coming out the front. And I'm going to pull that up. Then I'm going to take the back wire, and I am going to wrap it around the top wire just a couple times, maybe three times. Just kind of make sure that it's secure. Okay. And I'll snip it off towards the back. All right, and you might want to tuck that a little bit if you don't get it as close as you want to. There we go. And then, um, so this isn't, I mean, it's gonna move no matter what, but I'm gonna, I want it to be a little bit more stationary, so I'm gonna take my flat plier, flat nose, is that, no, I don't think that's the word, these pliers, <laughs> and twist, okay, so it's moving a lot less now, and then I'm going to just go ahead and put my little turtle on, and move down, so 
Um, the thing with these turtles is they're a little top heavy. So no matter what, the, the turtle, the top of the turtle is turning towards the back. Gravity's pulling it that way. So the way I'm going to wire wrap this is backwards. So it might be a little messy on the front, but it's okay. Um, and then I'm just going to put uh, the green bead on top as a spacer. So I'm going to hold my little uh, turtle in place. And then I am going to wire wrap a loop. Okay. So we'll come, we'll hold here, bend it to the front, reposition our pliers, pull around, and then pull to the front. I'm still making sure that my um, turtle is facing the correct way. Grab our loop. And I'm going to start that first one. And then we're going to make sure that our turtle is facing the right way. And then we're just going to keep going around. Um, as it gets more tight, the turtle will stop moving. And I'm keeping, I'm just going to keep rep repositioning him until he stays in place because we don't want it facing the wrong way. And then our, our earring looks silly because we see the turtle belly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hold this in place and I'm trying it's uh, if I had three hands it would be really really helpful right now but okay it's gonna keep going until I feel it's secure enough that he won't flip around a lot might move a little bit, but it's definitely gotten better since I started wrapping. There we go. All right, so he's not moving. We'll turn this around. I'm just going to trim in the back. Okay. And then we'll straighten up our loop. go. Isn't that cute? If you don't wear earrings like me, you can just use it as a pendant. I'm going to put it on an earring so you can see what it looks like, but um, I might just take it off later. Aren't those cute? And doesn't that little uh, spacer look like a sea urchin? So there's our first pair. Next pair, I also got some other stuff from that Shark Week mix. Um, I got the Pelican because it was so cute. Um, and then another bone bead from Lynn, um, a crystal from that mix, two, uh, a bead cap from that mix, um, one of my crystal rondelle spacers, and um, one of the acrylic or metal plated acrylic beads that Lynn sent. So I'm just going to create my own head pin using that same wire. I'm going to cut off um, considerably less than I used be before because we're making a simple loop. This is one of my go-to earring styles and even if you use this style all the time, no matter what you do, it's going to look different because you're using different beads. <laughs> so I'm just going to bend that and create a simple loop. Okay. And then I'm just going to pile on my beads, put on the bone bead, bead cap, crystal bead, crystal rondelle spacer, and our spacer. So there's the first part of our earring. And then I am just going to create our simple loop. go and then we'll just attach this part to our pelican oops and the good thing about this pelican is it's double-sided so no matter what side you see um, you'll actually see the pelican image Okay, just 
straighten that up a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna flip him opposite of our other earring, so he's gonna go this way. All right, here are our cute little earrings. And they face each other. Aw, those are so sweet. Um, I just wanna say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Lynn. The things you sent are amazing. I can't wait to keep using them. And um, please let me know if you guys, what you guys thought, what, you, what your favorite thing was, and how you like the earrings. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh, Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, cutie. Good morning. This is what I see every morning when I wake up. She gets as close to my face as possible. Just say hello. How are you? Good morning. What a cutie. Look at that little nose. Hi, baby doggy. Look at those little teeth. I'm just stare at your mom, huh? Good morning. Hi, baby. We have a lot to do today, huh? Somebody's going to get a bath. You hate those.